I'm back. It's 2024. Uh, I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. I'm cold. I don't know about you. I So today I'm going to be working in my own unit. I'm trying to get it kitted out because we were... I had three individual units. I had well, a garage at home and then two small units, which we had all our work stuff in. And it just was chaotic. Didn't know what was in there. Uh, tools, materials, didn't have a clue what we had. Uh, so we've sort of got rid of all those places. We've accumulated into one new unit um, so we can organise all the gear, get it all visible so we can actually use it and save some money, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I'm in there today. I've been kitting it out quite nicely and it's not cost me a penny. All Well, okay, the scaffold boards, which I've clad the walls with, I've had to buy those second hand from, from a friend of mine who owns a scaffold company. They're all old boards anyway. Um, but all the steel trunking, steel conduit, metal clad sockets, uh, industrial sockets that we're putting in, it's all stuff that we had that I didn't even know I had. So I'm not being flash. I'm just utilising things that I've got to hopefully make a really usable space for us and so we can create decent content in here as well. Uh, yeah, so we've yesterday I put up, mounted the fuse box fuse board tpn the brand new tpn boards uh which fuse box very kindly sent out to me um so i've done a couple of little shorts on that already um so i'm gonna look at getting some wiring done today in here with singles uh and hopefully uh start terminating that today as well so we can go through that if we can look at that lovely sign that my wife bought me what a star she is look look at that how vain am i <laughs> Right, I'm going to crack on with some stuff. I'll get as much filming done as I can so you can see what we're doing. So I've got an armoured cable to run in to feed that TPN board. Uh, so it's only a single phase unit. Um, but we're, So we're running in a 3-core 25mm SWA to join on to where the actual meter position is uh, via a switch fuse. Because uh, I've relocated the board to a better location that suits, suits how I want it to work. Um, so I'm going to run that in today. I'm going to wire all the singles in the trunk in because we've got two or three socket circuits, a couple of heaters in here. Um, obviously all the lighting uh, and then we've got like, like I said we've got a test point we've got a 230 volt 32 amp and a 230 volt 16 amp socket for testing bits of equipment um, I might I'm undecided yet as to whether I'm going to put I've got those I don't know if you guys you've probably seen them in some of the other videos we've got the big 110 volt site transformer so I've got about six or seven of those I was thinking about permanently fixing one in here Again, just if we needed to run or test any 110 volt equipment in here as well. Um, yeah, so let's get some work done. For the uh, for the conduit, we've actually so I've just used standard steel conduit, 20 mil mostly. Got some 25 mil as well. But I'm using the Conlock system. Um, which is made by MetPro. You guys have seen, probably I've done a couple of videos of them before. We've actually got another video we're doing with them in uh, in about a week's time, um, going over relationships between contractors and wholesalers. Uh, so that's worth a watch. If you're uh, if you're running your own business, it'd be great to know your thoughts on, on what mistakes I make. And if, if you actually think we make some valid points, and hopefully we're making sort of bridges between the two but yeah we've been using the metpro products uh the conlock system so no need to thread i mean you you've seen i've got some really nice threaders but i've not been using them in here just wanted to try this out in here myself uh so it's got a these are a um a thread, threaded coupler so this has got a thread in one end and the the conlock system on the other so you'll see there that it's literally got a a grub screw uh, which is what clamps onto the pipe. So you don't actually need to thread your conduit. So it's, it goes in so quick. Like you literally, all you're doing is you're measuring the length of the pipe, cutting it, reaming it out, and uh, and you're good to go. Just bung it straight in, whack it up with an Allen key, straight into the bushes there. Uh, yeah, same on, the, same on the conduit boxes. You might not see that because they're light fitting, but they, it's all just conlock up there. Brilliant stuff, really is. Um, been using the rapid saddles as well. So these are only a half saddle. So you undo one screw and it sort of folds back over on itself. So if you're running along a wall, that's really nice because they actually will support your conduit. Um, so you can lay your conduit into the saddles and then lift the whole section up and lock into place. Uh, so yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, 
you know, I'm not, I'm not just saying that because I've worked with Metapro a little bit. That I've bought all of this. You know, it's, I've not been given the, the Conlock stuff. So, yeah, I highly rate it. And if you're doing your large conduit system, you definitely can save yourself some money if you use it. My preferred method, singles up in a conduit. One, leave one longer, bend it over on itself, tape it all together. And just send it straight up the pipe. Can I do this one-handed? Oh, and there she be. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. lovely. Okay, so I've run in the sub main from the existing meter position. Uh, so I've got a 25 or 3 core. Luckily, this is again, it's just an off cut cable I had. It's about sort of 14, 15 meters long uh, from, a, from a job we did a while ago, as you can imagine. Um, you know, so not cost me anything. It's allowed me to set up my workshop how I want it to be. Um, so, which is, which is good, yeah, so it's, it's come from here, from coming to the new fuse box, it's going to get all round band all the way across the top of the, the wall here, um, where it goes in the, into the void then, which you probably can't see, it goes into a void above the ceiling, and it will then drop down through the ceiling again into, into the old meter room. Uh, and it gives me, it just means that I've had to do a, a lot less wiring um, internally, just because of the route is quite far and it's a pain in the backside, so at least it's just saved me a lot of mucking around.
Actually, yeah, I didn't get any one of those. Anybody wants to buy me a Christmas present? Or a late Christmas present? Need a little cable knife? Cheers. Beautiful. Day two, I'm back in here. It's early, it's still cold again. I need to get a haircut. This is long for me, believe it or not. And the beard's getting a bit pedo-y. Um, I, back in the unit again, so the, I went. I was in Dagnum yesterday, drove up to Dagnum. Um, some of you guys will see my story on Instagram. Drove up there earlier, left my house at 10 to five. I didn't end up getting home until 10 o'clock in the evening. Pretty long day, pretty exhausting, but it was it was necessary. I had to drop loads of stuff up to them, which they couldn't get locally. And we had a van that was broken into, so I had to get some tools up there as well, just to make sure they could keep working. Um, yeah, but back in here, now, believe it or not, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess in here. I'm still building this wall up here. So we've built, I built this wall yesterday, cladded all of that. I need to clad all the way along the top there, along the top of that door, around the front of that wall, and then down the side. Clad all of that, and then I've got to finish the electrics because we are doing some filming in here tomorrow with someone. They're coming down, they, they sort of reached out to me, we're doing some filming, um, should be pretty good. So that'll be being released on, I don't, I don't actually know when they'll be released, but the videos will come out at some point early this year, I'd imagine. Um, which will be pretty good, but yeah, look at this. I've bought, like I said, like I said earlier on in the video, or two days ago for me, I'm trying to sort of be more organised. So look, I actually bought this about two years ago from the vinyl guys. Big sign. I can't, I think I saw. Oh, I can't remember who it was. I saw somebody else had bought one on Instagram. It's yeah from the vinyl guys and. I thought, what a blimmin' good idea just to be able to put it up somewhere and you can just... Because I'm rubbish. I just forget things all the time. I've got a diary. I keep a diary. But it's so easy just to overlook something. So I thought, right, I'm going to put that in right in front of the door as you come into the workshop. And then, yeah, everything's black and white, written down, as long as you keep on top of it, I suppose. But, yeah, one more thing done there. I'm trying to... Got this... Hide this heater yesterday because it's so cold in here. It's ridiculous. So again, for the next couple of days when we're in here doing filming, I want it want it to be a bit warmer. So yeah, today I need to get all the electrics finished, um, have a good bloody clean up as well. Eve, and I've, luckily behind this wall here, oh, there rather, that wall, there's probably another 10 foot of space, which I've got as storage. Uh, so I've got racking in there, loads of boxes, and I've just sort of gone through all the gear that I had in here. So I had loads of twin sockets, uh, like PIRs, light, all, all sorts of stuff, downlights, tons of it, left over from other jobs or jobs that have ended up being cancelled for whatever reason. And it's just like, ah, oh, it's just, I've just accumulated so much stuff. So I've organised it all out now so that we can actually use it up and get rid of it. 
Um, so I've got space behind there where if I need to hide a few things, I can just to get them out of the way. Um, so yeah, not too bad. And hopefully it should be okay. It might be a bit of a long day today, but I can get it done. So I'm going to get that board made off at some point. I need to wire this lot, but that's easy anyway. It's literally local right there. I've got to pull a couple of cables across the ceiling and that trunk in to get into this area, but they'll be in twin earth because as soon as it penetrates through the ceiling, uh, th through the, this cladding here, uh, it's, it's just going to be running in free space. So um, I'll wire those two, two or three circuits in twin earth just so they are okay. Um, yeah, right, well, I'm gonna crack on. I'll do a bit more filming. I think, yeah, you should have, I can't remember what I've done so far. I know you obviously see me fitting the board and getting the armor in and things like that. Uh, I've second fixed wires and second fixed a few of the sockets in here. These things are amazing, by the way. B&Q, two pounds, I think they were each. Just little, little containers that you can put out, and chuck all your bits in. Brilliant. Right, let's crack on. So I've got one plank left to fit up there. I've got to notch it for the beam on top there. Uh, no, no, I have got to notch it. I just need to notch it for the armoured cable. So I need to just clip the armoured. Notch around that, beautiful. And then I've just done this as well. I've just started cladding a bit of that wall. I've hung the door. There was a door left here from the previous tenant. Um, so actually I've done it so it fits in flush with the scaffold board. It doesn't look like it is there, but it is. It, it goes flush to the scaffold boards. Um, I just need to get a handle and a lock in there. So it will lock just so it shuts into there, which would be quite nice. So that goes into just a, <laughs> I didn't cut, the, the, the original door opening is six inches smaller than the door. <laughs> but who cares? It looks the tits. So yeah. Just a little room, it is absolutely rammed with crap in here at the minute. So we've got ducting left from some of our ducting jobs. I've got all these storage bins, absolutely full of stuff, loads of hilty fixings. I'm gonna plan is all these boxes are coming out, going around the back bit of storage, and there'll be I've got a length of worktop that's going in here. Just uh just a little room just to put more stuff really. I don't need a tea room because I don't drink tea or coffee. Uh yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of wiring quickly because I need to fish some twin and earths down for the lighting feeds in these two rooms um, and socket cables. Just leave them hanging out of the wall up there a moment, ready to go into the trunk in, and then I can finish cladding the rest of this. Uh, and by which time it should be about 10 a.m. So if I've got all that done by 10 o'clock in the morning, that'd be great because then I'm literally basically on electrical stuff for the next few hours. So I've got conduit, I've got to get rid of all this old wiring. I've got conduit run to do all the way along there to pick up one, two, three, what will be a fourth light fit in then. Four light fittings on the conduit run, diving into the trunk in. I wire that, I need to wire, there's a socket there, there'll be a socket in behind for the television. Um, and there's also gonna be another socket there. I've got a 32 amp, 16 amp feed there. I need a lighting feed at that one, which is then gonna dive out through the back for light fittings in the corridor behind. Um, I've got to pick up, I've got, I've done one bit of conduit here. I've got one more to pick up for that other light and then I can connect all of that up. Uh, get rid of this old light switch, get rid of the old light because no, none of that's even connected anymore. I'm a typical Sparky, so I've just sort of lashed up these lights. I mean, they're, they're wired properly in the conduit. I just need to get some conduit box lids, um, but they, I've just lashed it up on a plug top at the minute at the light switch, just so it's, so I've got some light to work in here. Uh, yeah, so I, hopefully by 10 o'clock, have a lot of the, all the woodwork finished-ish. Uh, and then I can crack on with wiring that lot, have a good start on a good clean up and then yeah, get ready for some cool stuff tomorrow. So yeah, I don't really want to say who it is that's coming to do filming, but cause they, I don't know what they uh, feel about the whole situation, but yeah, we're going to do some, do a few videos, which would be pretty cool.
So yeah, right, catch a bit. Look at that sign. Every time I look at it, I'm like, damn. I think it's so cool. I don't know what she paid for it, my wife. I really don't. But I just think it's quite cool, quite quirky. I know it's completely pointless because realistically, the only people coming in here uh, are myself and the lads that work for me. Um, so it's only us that's going to see it. I have been thinking though, I have been thinking about doing like a few little like podcasty type things in here, doing some videos just with some other content creators. Uh, not that I'm a content creator, but I'm trying. Um, yeah, just bring a few people down. I've put the feelers out and there's a, you know, a few people who are quite happy to come down and have a chat. Just It's more, uh, even if you guys, you know, hopefully you guys will get something from it, but it's interesting to me because there's things I want to ask and know from these people um, that, that just interest me. So if anything, I'll get something out of it. But yeah, right, I'm going to crack on. Look at that. I've got to keep these bloody tyres there from my van because I've got the I put the alloys on the van. What do you guys do? Do you get do you get rid of them? I don't really want to because when I sell the van, I, I don't know. So I've got four tyres there from my Citroen Relay, just sat there. I mean, they're not hurting anybody. They're not taking up too much space, so they keep them. But uh, I do have a roof rack and a floor mat for a 2020 onwards Citroen Dispatch long wheelbase, if anybody's after one. A little plug there, a little selling point. Uh, right, I'm going to crack on, get some more stuff done, and then... Hopefully, when you see me again, I'll uh, I might do another little... Well, I won't bother doing a time-lapse of me doing the woodwork because it's boring. Most of you electricians watching, I'd imagine. If you're a carpenter watching, one, you're in the wrong place, and two, you'll probably absolutely slate me <laughs> for what I'm doing. So, yeah, right, I'll, I'm going to crack on and get that done, and then we'll do some wiring. And just like that, it was the next week. So I got absolutely no filming done the rest of the day. <laughs> um, just an absolute manic one from when I was trying to get ready for, for doing the filming, um, which has also been and gone. So I had two really good days of filming. Really unusual, different, something different for me. Something, not something I've ever done before. Um, yeah, no, it was good. Interesting. Um, so the workshop was done. Looking a bit of a mess again now. I've just said, Seb here, we just emptied all the stuff out of their van from uh, working in Dagnum last week. They're off working in Ilfracum today. Uh, so yeah, we've got like leftover bits of cable and boxes of gear and things like that. So yeah, I need to go through and sort all that out. I've got another little meeting in here in a minute. Um, and then I can go off and do my jobs. I've got, well, I need to, what am I doing today? I am, I've got to go down to see them at their job in Ilfracum. And then I will be heading home to do a load of paperwork. You can see, oh, it's cold in here. Um, yeah, to do a load of paperwork. I've got to finish doing some tenders for some jobs, uh, like big, big jobs. So absolute pain in the backside. I always find, I don't know about you guys, anyone else who's is watching that does large tenders, it's, I always find it a little bit nerve wracking. I find myself sort of second guessing myself sometimes and also you know, re constantly rechecking the uh, the specification because the trouble is on you know, say you're doing a job, say it was a housing job, you know, you're doing a job that's 300 houses, you miss one important vital piece of information like a specific brand for something, or that you're required to do to supply the heating thermostats, for instance. Say they wanted to have a smart thermostat and you don't. You miss that it's under the electrician's package to supply a smart thermostat. Suddenly, you've got three hundred houses that's going to cost you at least two hundred quid for a smart thermostat. You know, so you can lose very quickly lose a lot, a lot of money on projects like this. So, yes. So I'll, I'll be doing that this afternoon to get that on back, and then I've got two more big tenders to do as well. But I've got a couple of weeks to get them back, luckily, so I can get those done. Ah, oh, all good fun. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the workshop, uh, if there's anything you would have done differently or if there's anything you think I should do. Um, but yeah, so going forward, we are looking at pumping out, I'm trying to put out two videos a week, which is ridiculous, I know. But we're going to try and do it. We're going to try and do one work video and then another video looking at a product, tool, something like that. Yeah, and that will be based in the workshop in here. So we're actually going to do specific things, looking at products that I like to use, new products that are coming out, tools that I use, tools that are coming out, and just really sort of go into it a bit. 
Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon.